Welcome back to another episode. Today I want to show you how to use keyboard shortcuts for your WordPress website. This will make the whole entire blogging experience a lot more efficient and save you time. Let's get started. Today I want to go over keyboard shortcuts that you could use when you're blogging on your WordPress powered website. Now this is uh, beneficial because it saves you time. Once you get familiar with these keyboard shortcuts, you'll be able to blog faster than you would if you had to start searching around for icons and uh, options within your toolbars and stuff. So, you know, I like keyboard shortcuts. They work for me. I try to learn as many of them as I can, you know, for various applications. And I've, you know, learned the most important ones for WordPress. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna teach you the first one which is going to help you find all the shortcuts. So for this one, I'm gonna press Shift-Alt-H and this will bring up the keyboard shortcuts. And you'll see that these are the options you have in default shortcuts, Control plus letter. If you're on a Mac, it'll be Command plus letter. And these are the options you have there. And then if you wanna use the additional shortcuts, the Shift plus Alt and then the letter or number in this case will accomplish those and then you'll see all those options. And then if you want bulleted lists or a numbered list, these are what you use. When starting a new paragraph in one of these formatting shortcuts followed by a space, the formatting will be applied automatically. Press backspace or escape to undo. And then the following formatting shortcuts are replaced when pressing enter. I'll press escape or undo a button to undo. All right, so you have these. So you see some of them are duplicated multiple ways to accomplish the same goal. And then you have your focus shortcuts, and there's also some common shortcuts, um, but for now let's go over the most important and most widely used keyboard shortcuts. So to get started, I'm just gonna type out some gibberish over here. Now, the first one is I'm gonna select all. So I'll press Control A, it selects all the text on the page, right? Easy, that's something basic. Now let's copy it, Control C, and then I'm gonna paste it right afterwards, Control V. So Control A to select all the text, Control C to copy the text, and Control, Control V to paste the text. Now to undo that, you will press Control Z, and it removes your last edit that you made to your, your, your post here. And then if you wanna redo it, Control Y will do that. All right, so we have Control A to select all, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, uh, Control Z to undo, Control Y to redo. All right, so now let's select all again. And now I'm going to press Control B. And now we have it bold. I'll select all, Control I to make it italicized. Now, if you don't want to have it bold and italicized, you just press the Control B while that text is selected. And if you want to take away the italicized, Control I again. Pretty basic stuff, right? I mean, nothing crazy over here. So now let's... Uh, do some underline. Let's, uh, I'll select all the text and I'll press Control U will give us the underline for that. Control Z to take that away. And now if I wanna make the text a link, what I can do is Control A to select the text, or in this case, you could just double click it if you don't wanna select all the text. So I'll double click that text right there and then I'll press Control K. So I'll be able to paste in a URL I can customize it, you know, things like that. And then the next option I'm gonna choose, we're gonna start going over the Alt Shift keys. So I'm gonna select all this here, and then I'm gonna press Alt Shift and C will center align the content. Alt Shift and R will right align it. You wanna bring it back to Alt Shift and L to left align it, which is the default anyway. So that does that, right? All right, so now, if you want to um, do a bulleted list, you can press uh, Shift-Alt-U and it makes the bulleted list for you. If you want to do a ordered list, you could just type out uh, one and then space and then you get the, the ordered list. Or you can press the, um, you could also do, let's get rid of that one, alt shift and O will also give you the ordered list as well. So see what we're doing here? We have the Alt Shift keys. The L is for Align Left. The Alt Shift C is for Align Center. And then now if we want to 
let's do this let's uh, get out of that one i'm gonna select all and then i'm gonna strike through it so i'll press alt shift and d and now that strikes through the text all right so that gives you another option and then if we want to put a quote around that alt shift and q will give you the quote now you don't see it generally here but if you preview it it'll show you it right there as a quote the next one is you know a popular thing to do is to insert an image right so instead of just clicking on add image over here you can press alt shift and m to insert an image and you'll be able to choose from your library or upload etc so that's how you insert an image with alt shift and m and now if you want to do distraction free mode you can press alt shift and w there we go for distraction free mode and then if you want to go back to the regular mode you can just press that all right so now if you want to insert a more tag let's say you're over here you're going to go down a little bit you can press alt shift and t and then you get a more tag or we'll undo that one and then if you want to insert a page break alt shift and p will give you that page break all right let's undo that all right so now let's go to the heading tags if you press alt shift one you'll get heading one so in order to demo this i'll just do that type out some text now if you press return or enter you can see it's back to the paragraph now alt shift and two will give you the heading two and then alt shift three alt shift four alt shift five wait let me do that again alt shift six for the h6 tag and then alt shift seven will be just the paragraph tag by itself so like if you wanted to change this one over here to a paragraph there you go alt shift seven will accomplish that goal another way for a block quote let's say you want to double click this one you can press alt shift and eight will make that into a block quote all right let's undo that one and then if you wanted to make this like an address you can just press alt shift and nine and it'll give it the address class all right so we'll undo that undo that again okay so let's go down further so the next options i'm going to do here is i'm going to press some of the formatting keys so i'll just press the shift and asterisk and then a space and it gives me a bulleted list or, or an unordered list we'll get rid of that and then another way to do it would be to press the um the dash sign and then press space and you'll get that and then if you want to do an ordered list you could just type out one period space and it'll give you the order list or you could do one parentheses space and it gives you the order list as well and then if you wanted to do the h2 but without using the alt shift you could just do like that type out your text press enter and it gets automatically changed into the h2 tag or if you want to do the same thing for the h3 it would be three pound signs your text and then, there you go and it goes the same way down the, the rankings of the heading tags to the h6 and then if you wanted to do a block quote you can do the greater sign your text press enter and it turns into a block quote you can see down here it says it we'll undo that and then um, if you want to do a horizontal line it'll be three dashes and then you get your horizontal line now if you want to do a code block the way you do this is you would put the tick symbol which is typically in the upper left hand corner underneath the escape key and then you would put whatever code you're go going to put followed by another tick and then you get the code format so let's preview this see how it comes out this is what we did there this is that gibberish but it comes out like code all right so now that's for the basic shortcuts that you'll probably use most often probably use in other programs it's you know the control or command key followed by the letter like command c for copy v for paste a for select all x for cut z for undo y for redo b for bold i for italics u for underline or k to insert a link oh and there's another way to insert a link as well you can just um, hit the shift alt and a and you get the insert link option as well now if you want to get rid of that link you can press shift 
Alt and S will remove the link from the selected text. All right, so to recap, this is just some of the basic uh, keyboard shortcuts you might use on an everyday basis. Um, if you wanted to see a full list of them, you can press the Alt, Shift, and H key, and you'll get the keyboard shortcuts here. You may want to copy and paste this to your TXT file and leave it available for you or to one of your other applications and leave it available to preview until you get it committed to memory. And then you'll find that over time, it will make your experience blogging a lot faster. Instead of having to, you know, take a look at everything over here to find the right icon. All right, hopefully you found this episode helpful where I covered the most basic and widely used keyboard shortcuts for your WordPress website and how you can find them. All right, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe because I'll give you some more tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress powered website. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.